there it is, the Continental Divide. Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Susan. Together we love to travel. We have had some awesome adventures. Whether it be national parks like Grand Canyon or Yellowstone. In planes, trains, or ferries. In places near or far. Beautiful or historic. We can't wait to share our next adventure with you. So, so let's, let's get, get going. going. Seattle coach, one of two. So this is what the dining car looks like without anybody in it. We get all of our meals included with our room. Next, we're entering back into our car. Down up this hallway is all bedrooms. Got a quick fresh air stop here in Shelby. Beautiful out. Oh, so how long you been working? 37 years. Oh. That's a long Yes, it is. Wow. You don't look like that's possible. Oh, no. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, it's, it happens. I guess. 
we have an absolutely gorgeous day today. So we are racing across the Montana Plains, but we're here in the dining car. Uh, and we're going to have some lunch. We have our salad. And uh, bon appetit. Alright, lunch has arrived and I got the garlic and herb cod with some rice pilaf. And a roll. And a roll. And I ended up getting the penny and meatballs with a roll. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, it was really good last night. So we are just west of Havre, Montana, I believe that's how they pronounce it. We are looking at the Bear Paw Mountains in the distance. Um, thankfully the state of Montana was nice enough to put a sign on US Highway 2 that we're paralleling right here. And uh, so yeah, a little change in scenery from the plain brown rolling fields that we've been seeing for the last couple of hours after getting off of Marius Pass. So we'll take you outside when we get to our next station shop and get some fresh air. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to Haver, Montana. That's how the conductor said it. So, although, you know, come on, if you're going to call it Haver, H-A-V-E-R, not H-A-V-R-E. There's no er, it's re. Come on, folks. Rant over. Okay, so we're in Haver, Montana. And uh, outside the station here is the statue of James Hill, the founder of the Great Northern. And so, I sure to come over here. BNSF's uh, offices and also the Amtrak Station. Welcome to Hover, Hover, Montana. So we're here in Hover. And that's OCR car attendant. So that's how the town of Hever came to exist and why it's pronounced the way it is. Okay, time to depart Hever. Okay, final glimpse of Hever. Stupid French. Got a bonnet over here. Gonna be hidden behind that BNSF, but you can see it right through there. Engine refueling over here. You have an ace in the hole, I mean, an EMD SD70 ACE over there. Ooh, another bonnet up there at the front of the line. It's gonna get blocked. 
can see it right through there. Bad ordered cars, so car shop here. And there's Susan going, why did I let a train freak on the train? Changing scenery. We have trees, trees, and river. It's not very weak for us. arrived in Malta, Montana. Going to be a quick stop and then we'll be on our way again. Malta, Montana. A jewel of Montana.
Okay, we've made it to Glasgow, Montana. Quick stop here to pick up a couple customers, or passengers rather. Well, an Amtrak size, they are customers, so the statement is not correct. Incorrect. A couple of beautiful murals on the wall here. You have the middle of nowhere Glasgow, Montana mural over there. And then you have this really pretty farm looking one over here. I thought our hometown was the middle of nowhere. Oh wait, that's the middle of nowhere, Washington. That's right. Well, after a multi-hour delay here at Wolf Point, Montana, it's been nice, Wolf Point, thank you. Uh, we are finally on the move again. Woo! 